Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video we are going to show you how we can fix the DPC Watchdog violation BSOD error on Windows 10. The DPC Watchdog error was very common when Windows 10 was released. It was due to the compatibility issue with certain devices. Windows released an update to fix the problem but not all system configurations were targeted and you might still encounter the problem. If you are stressing your CPU, memory and or video card and receive the blue screen of death with the error DPC watchdog violation, then follow the steps provided in this video to fix the problem. Our first method is to clean install the drivers by uninstalling first using display driver uninstaller. There are two situations, whether you are able to log in or whether you are not able to log in. The aim is to boot the system into safe mode so it can load the basic drivers and minimal settings but before you go with the steps further make sure you download the DDU from the link given in this video's description and copy it to an external driver or if you were able to log in then have it downloaded and saved on your desktop before you boot into safe mode. So let's quickly download the file. This link is given in Windows video's description. Okay, so here's the link. Let's go ahead and try to download it. Download it's ready. Let's quickly see in the folder and uh, let me quickly extract it all here. And we are going to copy the content on desktop. So if you are not able to log into your computer, copy this content and make this content, content available in an external drive so that it can be used later. Now we need to restart our windows in safe mode. Whether if you are able to log in, uh, we'll cover the scenario first. If you are able to log into the windows, Click on Start menu while holding the Shift key and while you hold the Shift key, click on Power button and choose to restart. This is applicable for Windows 8 and Windows 10. Okay, so you'll be landed to the Advanced Options screen from here. Let's go to Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options. From here, select System Settings, Startup Settings, and this will bring this option to you where you select a Restart, and when you click Restart, Windows will present you the option to choose from uh, the mode uh, that you want to start in from. So here uh, there are nine modes. We are going to choose enable safe mode with networking or enable safe mode only so that we can uninstall the drivers. So press F4 for safe mode and let's wait for the computer to get on the login screen. Okay so it's logged in. Now if you are using Windows 7 or Windows Vista, uh, restart your computer and tap F8 key repeatedly until you see the advanced boot menu. Uh, if you don't see this menu, start over and then again try to tap F8 key on your keyboard until you see the advanced option. When you see these options, select safe mode and you'll be able to log in in the safe mode. So once you are in safe mode, uh, if you were f uh, previously able to log in, you'll be able to locate the copied files on your desktop or else you can use the USB where you copied these files and you can bring them on your desktop or you can use it from there too. Now once you get to the files, double click on display driver uninstaller. If somehow you don't get this exe to launch, 
go to properties and unblock the file click on apply ok and then double click on the file ok so this program is extracted let's go to the application which is uh, display driver uninstaller select your type as GPU select your vendor and then click on clean and restart uh, use the manufacturer's website to download and install the latest driver for your graphic card so let's wait for the process to get complete the system will be restarted and this system will restart in normal mode okay so the system is back online now let's wait for the log on screen so the system is back use the manufacturer's website to download the latest driver for your uh, graphic card so okay so uh, the next method that we have is to update the IDE ATA ATA page controller drivers hold Windows key and press R type devmgmt.msc which is device management open the IDE ATA ATA API controller now choose uh, the one which called SATA AHCI right click on it and click on update drivers once you are given an option to uh, choose automatically or browse your computer select manual update and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select standard SATA AHCI controller and click next once this is done restart your computer and see if your issue is resolved the third method that we have is to update the SSD firmware if available let's close this window click on start search for control panel let's view by small icons from here see device manager double click on disk drives double click on disk drives uh, expand disk drive save the model number of your SSD and search for the firmware on Google search for the specific firmware and instructions on how you can install the firmware for your device for the instructions and see if the issue is resolved the fourth method is to uninstall Synaptic default drivers in this case you will need a USB mouse in order to accomplish this method press Windows and R key type devmgmt.msc expand mice and other pointing devices from here right click on Synaptic SM bus touchpad and click on uninstall restart your computer and wait for Windows to install the most updated drivers for it and that should resolve the problem I hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel